Fox College Football, sponsored by GEICO. It's easy to GEICO. Spectacular day here in Lawrence, Kansas. Well, the starting running back tells you the quarterback is the fastest guy on the offense. You know there's something. There is that running back. It is Neal. Head coach since their Wisconsin Whitewater days. Bean on the roll, and he flings it out for a first down to Mason Ferris. Bean play action. He's flowing to his left, and he unloads it toward the sideline, and a juggle, and a catch. You just, you don't have those reps with the ones, as he told us. But when you do, all of a sudden, you feel confident that, hey, if I just put it in that guy's vicinity, a fourth-year player. Far in field goals this year, six for six, and his opening kick today is good. You see it. Still questions about the quarterback position. Kansas, after a 37-second drive by UCF, tired out defense. Devin Neal takes advantage. Talking to him, you could feel his confidence. Watch the big fellas pull in front of him, and then just the nifty little feet. And he outweighs everybody in that secondary. He's about 210, 215. That's the mascot name. Play action. Bean on target for Grimm. Back to the formation. No real reaction there for UCF. And they'll run to the short side. And an absolute tractor pull broke out. 20 plus. That's 45 pounds. That's the difference as he just fires the, to the near side. Arnold is in there into the ball game. And Bean throws that direction. And the reach. And a touchdown for Arnold. Into today. None through the first five games. And you knew eventually. The six foot three receiver from DeSoto High School in Texas would leap up clearly, knows exactly where he is. Which he handed off to some of the players before the season as well. Bean flushed out of the pocket. He zips it for a first. First runs. Bean looks right, throws left. One handed grab for Neal. He gets around trouble and out of bounds. Look at all those eyes. You know, Allison's with the report on the field of they're trying to tell their guys to have great focus and eyes. But when pieces are moving everywhere, three tight ends again. They will hand it off and they will get in with High Shaw. Touchdown, Kansas. Here, this entire left side, two tight ends just wash down that edge. And then it's running right through yet again. Another tackle. Sports fan, Timmy McLean back in there for UCF. And this is the best play so far. For the Knights, it's a first down yeah, for our Zaps already in his sophomore season. It's a screen, and it is Holler, and he is doused. He won. Use that at your next dinner party, make some friends. It's a punt by McCarthy, and it's inside the 20. It's Wilson. He darts outside. Wilson with some space once again. He cuts back. Wilson across the 40. He is out of here. Outrageous. Chalk Jayhawk. And it starts with the courage, Jason, to do that right there. To stare down a free gunner coming right at you. And he makes four dudes miss and says, sorry, Mr. Punter. You got no chance. I see the finish line. I see the ticker tape. And I'm going to sprint right through. In the second half of their only two big 12 games so far. This one notwithstanding to this point as Richardson keeps his feet somehow. You do best. I was going to say they have experience in games like this. Not that they want it as that ball is on the mark across midfield. Oh, he tested out that knee for a couple of drives and just could not go. McLean sees pressure, doubles out of it. Tried to throw it forward. It's on the ground. It was Booker that got the hand on it. And this is a fumble. Space. Is it going? Ooh, I think that there's probably at least a slowdown to make sure you see every look of that. The ball out of halftime with over 140 yards on the ground and then some. A lot more. Devin Neal! Wow! Blinding speed! Touchdown! Out of height, but then just kind of wore down. But this year, man, they are battle-tested. It is one of the oldest rosters in college football. 22 starters average 4.4 years. And I think Devin Neal ran about 4.4 <laughs> in the <laughs> open every snap. On the give. Straight up the middle. There is Harvey. 
He's into space, and it takes Kenny Logan to wrangle him. The Baylor game splitting the A-gap right up. A nice job there by the center. Bula Schmidt does a terrific job of taking two, creating a Kansas Jayhawk-like running lane. So Harvey could get in the open field. And at the bottom of the formation, he has not had a catch so far. It's the pump to Holler, and the throw to the near side. It is Holler on the touchdown. And they're going to sell screen, and he's going to fake block. And not a lot of good communication on the back end of that. The you first way you need all of the points anyway. And McLean will roll to the left. He'll stop. He wants to throw, and he does to the end zone. It's knocked away for the Jayhawks. Play action for Bean. They're off schedule a bit as he's got into the tight end card. He transferred to Rich Central in the suburbs of Chicago. And there goes Highshaw. Highshaw on the gas pedal and down after 0 for 8 last week. Jason Bean on the run. First down and more. Bean inside the. Straight up the middle one more time. Touchdown. 17. This is it. And you'll hear lots of analysts say this low man wins, but watch at the point of attack. Boom. Right through your ribs. Yeah, wearing number 40. He came off, and that is a bad snap, and everybody falls over themselves, and now it's going the other direction for UCF. And Damari Henderson through the sunlight to the end zone. From the 29. McLean on the roll, ready to launch. He comes near his side. He's got it for Townsend, first down. Second down, they'll flip it. Townsend once again. Fewer people touched it, and they got more yards out of this. Richardson outside, and he does have the Virginia redshirted there, then transferred. And this is another run toward the goal line, and he's thrown head over heels into the end zone. Touchdown, Harvey. I think I heard Tylen Grable, 71, the left tackle. You'll see him come into frame here. As he's the one that ultimately picks up his buddy and says, I got you. I'll throw you right in the end zone as well. Take it with me. Are the Venetian blinds? <laughs> you are. You're going to yes. take it. Brock is a collector. Here's Logan on the return. Kenny Logan Jr. Oh, wow. He has massive space. Oh. And he's tripped up. Could be anything. It's a run. It's high shot. Shot out of a cannon. First and goal. Like the Big 12. This is high shot. On the direct snap and a direct line to the end zone. Pretty good tight end play right here. I mean, his buddy does the first part. He comes across as Jared Casey and then Fairchild just lays yet another whooping. And that time on Jason Johnson, it really doesn't matter. The front side of these run plays hit them. And the stress they put on you mentally with all the shifting on the offensive side as McLean lets it rip down the field. Bryant trying to recover, and he could not. Excellent job of giving your receiver an opportunity. The two are fighting. Kobe is fighting from the ball away. He now loves tackling when in high school he did not at all. This down the sideline of the tight end. You can get three night players eventually out there and just not enough defenders for the Jayhawks. Kobe Bryant's coming on the blitz. They're a corner blitz. They're a man short. And Timmy McLean gets it. Wilson in motion. He had the punt return for the touchdown. And it's another breakaway. It's McDuffie inside the 10. And he nearly. This is no good. 14 and 19, 15. This is an epic couple of seasons for this program. McDuffie driving, thundering. Mm -hmm. Why not? Right up the zipper. McDuffie slamming. You? You're talking into a microphone. It was still loud, and so is Kansas. <laughs> Touchdown, McDuffie. Cuts off the field and says, when Ricky gets you down to the goal line, you give Ricky the ball. And when McDuffie gets <laughs> you to the goal line, you give McDuffie the ball. They do just that. Touchdown. And they're going to find a way to win some Big 12 games before this season's all said and done. McLean under siege one more time, and he goes down. Credit the defensive line as a whole on that sack. And the Kansas Jayhawks have moved to 5-1 and one behind a rugged rushing game.